Indigenous voices are turning to social media to reclaim their identity, culture, and traditions, creating community and challenging stereotypes one post at a time. I'm Annelise Borges, and this is The Stream. <laughs> The country I was born in, Brazil, used to be home to at least 1,000 indigenous tribes before the arrival of European colonizers. Today, there are only about 300 communities left. Many of them feel discriminated against and under pressure to assimilate into urban culture, something social media influencers are fighting by making diverse indigenous identities visible. They call it a revolution. Here's one of those voices, DJ Eric. É, representar a cultura indígena hoje está representando as várias nações que existem no Brasil. O processo colonial em nosso país é muito duro e silenciou muito os nossos povos indígenas. Então, é, muitas vezes as nossas crenças, as nossas músicas foram demonizadas e muitas vezes proibidas de serem cantadas nos nossos territórios e principalmente quando a gente acessa os centros urbanos, as cidades e tudo mais. Então hoje trabalhar com música, trabalhar com cultura, com a nossa vestimenta, com as nossas pinturas é um sinônimo de que a gente está levantando, né? é um marco muito importante para nós povos indígenas e de levar também um pouco da nossa cultura para o mundo é parte dessa revolução que a gente faz. There are so many causes out there that indigenous groups are trying to voice through their presence online. Here are the Maasai boys bringing a huge issue affecting their community to the forefront of their online work on social media and doing something about the problem. Take a look. East Africa is currently facing one of its worst droughts of the last century. The dire emergency in East Africa, the drought there exacerbating the hunger crisis as many a 20 million people. Maasai in Tanzania and many other indigenous people are heavily affected by the extreme drought periods with our natural water sources completely dried up and cattle dying we were left with only one option to build a water well Ida, I'm going to turn to you now because you mentioned that reclaiming your identity was part of your journey I want to share a video from a psychotherapist I met in the Brazilian Amazon and then get your reaction. Take a look. Eu me deparei com algo que eu não imaginava encontrar. Eu me deparei com a fome e com alto índice de suicídio entre os jovens. E eu não esperava isso. Eu entendi então que eu precisava agir. Eu resolvi trazer o meu projeto para cá. Eu quero construir junto com as comunidades e com as instituições locais um espaço onde os jovens possam se reencontrar, possam interagir entre diferentes culturas, diferentes etnias e valorizar a riqueza que há dentro deles. Para que a próxima geração de indígenas desse país tenha orgulho de ser quem elas são. Ida, um, Aline mentioned something very serious there um, in terms of losing identity and the consequences uh, of that, the impact of that, especially on the youth. Have you witnessed anything similar around you? Have you heard about it? Is that something that, I don't know, perhaps the Sami people have also faced? Yeah, I think it's... Uh almost impossible to be a people that suffers of the consequences of colonization. Uh, I think it's impossible to be that and not have mental health related issues uh, because of this. And I, I come from an assimilated family and that has really affected um, the family, my family's mental health and also my own. Um, but also during the demonstrations that has been going on because we are mainly young people that are fighting for uh, our rights right now and a lot of us know people that has uh, committed suicide because of this fight and uh, but we are privileged in many ways we there are people uh, that are trying to protect us in 
And thank you all for watching. Don't forget to send us your comments and your suggestions for the show online on social media. For that, you can use the hashtag or the handle AJStream. Take care, and I'll see you soon.